Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday after a wild Wednesday. Wow. What went right? What went wrong yesterday? Um, Swiss went wrong. And I'm having a hard time with Swiss francs. It's like I don't even know, understand the country. So, so, so much irony in that. Uh, we tried to buy dollar Swiss before the numbers. Lost a couple of pips. Tried to buy uh, Euro Swiss before the numbers. Lost 20 pips, which is a huge loss in Euro Swiss. I mean, that's like fucking Muppetville. Um, but <clears throat> after the numbers, we sold Aussie uh, on the stretch, right? We talked about yesterday, and yesterday's call up near 50. That worked. And we sold Aussie CAD uh, at 04. <clears throat> but we did have to wear about 40 points of pain. Uh, so all of our eggs were in the Aussie and Aussie CAD yesterday, um, and eventually those worked. That was nice, and then we got, you know, we got given. The goal on these is 100 pips. Both of them went. We're not short now, even though it's way lower, so everyone shut the fuck up. I know, I know. Blow me. Um, what else? Crude also up at 82. We were pretty patient. Um Went up to 82.58. We sold at 82.12 on the way down. We did wear some pain on that, but very little. Uh, so that was also nice. Equities, as you, as everybody knows, got plunged. Um, this is an important chart here. You don't often see DXY uh, get to these stretch points. It's like a, you know, it's like a big thick Mack truck, right? It's a basket of currencies. When it does get to stretch points. Um, it often creates support. This is resistance in euro. So you saw this down at 101.74. The equivalent in euro was 108.89, basically the exact high, which gave us confidence in our Aussie uh, Aussie trade. What didn't give us confidence were rates. Rates are getting crushed, um, but we're fading this uh, gulp. As we talked about all week, we waited for. Uh, Prices below 335. Uh, now the fade is on. We'll see how this goes. The 200 day um, on the rate side is three. Where is it? 200 day? 331. So we're right. We're right dancing on the 200 day now. So this is our main focus today. Is we are short the futures, which effectively makes us long the rates. This is the rates chart. Um, Let's see how that goes. Aussie, not much to do here. You don't want to sell it here if you're not short. You don't want to fade it here. Where's your stop? So it's going to be tricky. Uh, dollar CAD. We watched that yesterday because we had Aussie CAD. I won't bore you with all of these charts. There's just a couple specifics you might want to look at. Euro CAD. Um, it's tricky here, right? Because volatility in Euro CAD has been crushed. Um, but we will get a sell signal up at 146.23, which is it's kind of far. It's 50 points. In EuroCAD, it's a far way, long way away. CAD Swiss, as you can imagine, is the same. Both of them will have to have range breakouts to reach these points. So we will not be trading this. And if we do, we'll trade it in smaller size because it doesn't really make a ton of sense to us. And, and who's going to drive this? I don't know. I just want to point that out. The other interesting pattern out there is uh, dollar China. You can see on this little line here, um, just an interesting little pattern, maybe a inverse head and shoulders, whatever. Uh, if the dollar keeps going higher and you want to take a hack at something, maybe dollar China through uh, 679, sort of 18. For all the good news yesterday with Aussie, Aussie Cat and Oil, you know, we obviously took a PL hit on our crypto. We're long Ethereum and Matic, uh, as you all know. That thing got smashed. We had that lonely bid at 1500, 1503 the low, which was annoying. But now we have to pull that bid because uh, if we get back down there, it looks like 1450 is going to trade. So um, we still are trying to collect this, add to the longs, uh, especially with rates lower. Um, maybe with some risk off, we'll get given some Ethereum. But of course, do we want to get given some Ethereum, right? <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, Matic, we have been, we have added uh, 
at 95 cents. It's lower. Uh, God bless crypto um, as an asset class. Let's just look at the two stocks that um, we were trading last week, which are um, Microsoft and Apple. Let's see here. Apple seems crazy. It um, This was trading uh, down at 125. It's 10 bucks higher. We will try and reload this below um, 130, 130 bucks. Um, pretty bearish bar. And Microsoft, same thing. Uh, massively bearish bar. Um, we were buying two two twos. Uh, my Canadian friends will know that's a nice drug. Um, good for headaches. Bit of codeine. Bit of caffeine. Um, we'll try and scoop some um, some Microsoft back. Maybe down there at two 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 again. Um, so anyway, short and sweet. Um, we're trading these rates here. We're short. We're short tens. Uh, currencies now are stretched and, and the charts need to settle so there's not much going on the pattern in dollar China is worth a look also dollar max had a big ass turn day yesterday and so you can try and buy this on dips maybe down at 1885 between 85 and 80 um, this is a 120 big figure move uh, and then we have this big bullish engulfing with risk off and, and oil down. Dollar Max could move a lot higher very quickly. Anyway, uh, not much else to say. Dollar Max, Dollar China. Uh, you might want to look at this Euro, CAD, CAD Swiss. I don't know. Uh, but our main focus is rates today. Good luck. Good luck out there, people. Catch you tomorrow. Ciao.